everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to the Chronicles of the Sick Vanda. After some help from a friend of mine, Heath Webster, or Tree Webster, I think we have figured out that this is brown spot, um, brown spot bacterial infection. And the reason why I say we figured that out is because do you see on each one of these spots, there's the brown spot and then there's a ring around the spots, okay? You see that? Kind of hard with the light. So what I'm going to do is I have taken off this leaf. I'm gonna take off that leaf and I am going to cut this leaf and this leaf. Sorry guys, there's a bug flying around my face. And I'm going to cut this leaf. Um, and once I cut them, I'm gonna dab the open wound with cinnamon. I know some people don't like that. I've always used it and it's worked well for me. I'm gonna dab it with cinnamon. I'm gonna wipe this entire plant down with alcohol and I am going to treat it with Fizan 20 once I get that in the mail. And I know some of you guys thought that this was cold damage and cold damage, um, from what my experience has been with the cold damage that I've had on some of my orchids outside in the greenhouse is cold damage turns into brown, black, mushy spots that don't have a perfect even circle. It's just a brown, mushy spot. You know, these are, this is something bacterial. And I don't know where it got it from. I don't know if it had it when I ordered it. This is one of the Vandas from thevandaman.com. Um, this was the one that was $55 or so. So it wasn't one of the free ones. So anyways, I'm going to cut those leaves off, dab the wounds with cinnamon, wipe each leaf down with alcohol, um, spray it with Fizan 20, and repeat that process. And hopefully I won't see any more spots Sorry, you guys see my kids out there playing. Hopefully I won't see any more spots spreading. I will keep this in quarantine for quite some time. So, let me put this leaf down that I've already, and, um, sorry. After each time you snip a roo, um, you want to sterilize the scissors, because you don't want to go snipping on this effective leaf, affected leaf, and then go snipping up here on a good part of the leaf and then it spreads, okay? So I'm going to, actually that whole leaf is affected so I'm just gonna tear this leaf right off of here, okay? Be right back, I need two hands. All right, so I tore this leaf right off as gently as I could. And you can really see those rings following those brown spots. All right, so let's put him down. So this is spotting. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's related to that, but I'm gonna cut just right here, okay? I will be right back and I'm gonna show you what I do with the so cinnamon. So I have the cinnamon, just from the dollar store, okay? I have some on my finger. I'm gonna take that. And, sorry you guys, it's kind of hard to do this with two hands. I really need to invest in a tripod or something, huh? And, You see how the cinnamon is on there? 
Now cinnamon will prevent any more bacteria from getting in that open wound and it's gonna seal it, okay? So that is what I'm gonna do to the rest of the infected leaves, all right? And like I said, wipe down with alcohol. And then the Fizan 20, once I receive that in the mail. <clears throat> but with the Fizan 20, I'm not gonna wipe down, I'm gonna spray it. So I will make sure to keep everyone updated on how this orchid does. And hopefully it works and nothing spreads. I appreciate everyone's advice and comments on the last video, trying to help figure out what this was. And I think we were successful in figure out, figuring out what it was. All right, everybody, till next time, fingers crossed. See you later.